Business math in a bathrobe, fitting linear models to data. What, did you, what do you do when your real world data isn't perfect? Now, whether we're looking at crowning cricket chirps or whether we have a model over here that we have data from the US on gasoline consumption, real world data doesn't fit perfect lines, but we can model lines with very cool ways to calculate neat things. So the way that we're going to be doing that in this class is using Desmos. We can plot a table on Desmos and that's going to plot some points. And then just type in a couple things depending on what your variables are and you're going to get a regression line. This regression line is just the line that fits the data the best. It's going to give you an R squared value which kind of shows you how good it is. Uh, that can be as close to one as possible. The closer to one the better it is. You can see if I change this point to a positive three, right? Put this green dot way up here. Our data is much less like a line. This black line is much worse. Now our R squared is much closer to zero, okay? Your R value will be positive or negative, depending on whether your slope of your line is positive or negative as well, but R squared will always be between zero and one. And that's fitting linear models to data. These are the basics. All you have to do to create this table, by the way, is just go to Desmos and type the word table, and it'll make it for you. That is business math in a bathrobe, the basics of fitting linear models to data. Check out the related link for the full videos on these topics and let me know what you think.